What's going on YouTube? It's been quite a while since you've seen this mug on the screen, but it's E3 time. Things are changing personally. My son has turned one years old. I'm trying to get a better balance between content and fatherhood. That whole thing's been crazy. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of reactions for a lot of stuff that came out in the past couple days. Now I'm going to be honest and upfront. I've seen all these trailers before. The first reactions I recorded while I was watching their live streams for whatever reason, on my OBS, the sound and the video were just so off, they're unsalvageable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewatch them, just kind of give my thoughts on them, my opinions on them, see where they're at, and then uh, see what you guys think. And honestly, I'm just very excited because E3 season is coming. I have registered and I am a member of the E3 Press Media. So I will have some exclusive looks at some gameplay reveals that I'll have on this channel. So make sure you like and subscribe i mean you don't have to subscribe but you know that'd be great uh as you see in the text uh that way yeah i don't know how perspective works very excited about this i only ever played that game on emulators oh It's, it looks beautiful, it sounds beautiful, that orchestral, oh man. If you like RPGs, uh, like who's not gonna go in on this, you know? I just feel like them restoring it in this way is like the best way to pay homage and respect to the classics. And this is far more interesting to me than like a full blown 3D remake. Um, look at that, is that music? My heart, it just sounds so good. I'm just excited, I'm just very excited to play it. You know, there's not, I was hyped when I saw the stream and now I'm just kind of like taking it in and I'm just like ready and eager to experience it. If that makes sense. like. Um, I'll let the front back. So the thing about me is when this game was out and it was new, Dragon Quest 3, Dragon Warrior uh, in America, I was not into Japanese RPGs or RPGs of any kind when I was a kid. I didn't understand the concept of waiting your turn to attack. I was like way too ADD. I was like, no, why? If I can play these other video games where I punch someone and they punch, then why would I play this? But it wasn't until Final Fantasy 7, you know, yeah, it makes me an, a, a noob and a, and a pleb, I'm sure. But that game got me into RPGs. Xenon Gears cemented my love for JRPGs. And then I spent a lot of time going back and revisiting the classics that I missed, like Chrono Trigger and the classic Final Fantasies, because I was a dum dumb and I thought those games were bad at the time. Like, I literally had bought Chrono Trigger when I was a kid, you know, day one. And then I remember playing it and immediately returning it, like after like an hour, because it was turn based. So uh, I've I've learned the 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 hard lessons of my youth, and I am no longer a fool. So Octopath Traveler, I thought was a great game. Had some kind of balance issues, but I think for what they did to bring it back, the retro style with a modern twist, obviously look, it's paying dividends here. I hope to see it used for more classic RPGs, because I still think there's a huge audience for fans of. 2D Japanese RPGs like sprite work and this kind of visuals will last forever in my eyes. Timeless, you know, in a way that 3D graphics just never can be. So I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction and uh, stay tuned for more.